Hello, this is Charles with another Ubuntu video and in this video we are going to be looking at the FSpot graphics application. Now FSpot is in Ubuntu 10.04 but it actually is not in the Ubuntu 10.10 repositories. They actually ended up changing FSpot for a, another application called um, Shotwell Photo Manager. I happen to like FSpot a little bit better and uh, I'll tell you some of the reasons why. Uh, just many more features. Shotwell is a leaner, smoother application uh, in terms of it, it doesn't require quite as much memory. But FSpot has a lot of nice little features and we're going to look at those in a second. Now I've already imported uh, a few um, a photo along with a couple of screenshots but typically if you plug in a digital camera or you plug in a flash card or something into your computer or laptop um, either Shotwell or FSpot will uh, automatically pop up. Now if you're using Ubuntu 10.10 you'll want to install FSpot instead of uh, Shotwell in order to take advantage of some of these features and just make sure that the first time that you plug in something uh, instead of choosing Shotwell just go down into the menus and choose FSpot instead. Now as you can see there's quite a few things on the screen here. There's an import, there's browse, edit image, um, there's a, what looks to be a play button. We actually have many other photos organized by date on here as well. Um, we've, as you can see, we've got tags, we've got some other options, and we've got three images here. Um, the first image is something that I actually pulled off of Wiki Commons. It's a, a public domain photo, and the reason why I wanted to look at this is just to show you some of the features of SBOT. One of the nice things about this is quick red eye reduction, and all you have to do to change red eye is drag over the two red eyes click over in the left here, red eye reduction, and bam, your red eyes are no more. Pretty neat, pretty quick. Um, there's also an auto color feature that's kind of nice, and it just it adjusts the color of the image to usually make it look a little bit better. Now, um, FSpot actually makes backups of the actual image. It's not editing your original image. So if I went into the folder that this is from, which I believe is the, the desktop, um, you'll see on the desktop here my severe red eye photo is still severe red eye. So if we go back to FSpot, okay, you ask where is this photo here? Well that happens to be under pictures and photos and I got a ton of photos here. Um, pictures, photos, I think 2010 or 2011? 2010, let's just check this out. Could be in any one of these. Uh, no, that's me, my wife. Okay, it's somewhere in here anyway. Um, probably under 2011. At this point, I'm not gonna uh, show you exactly where it is. You'll just have to trust me that the original image uh, does not get edited. I, I pulled the original from here. I, I do believe it's in pictures and uh, photos. I just can't remember exactly where. You can set that. Actually we can go in and, and we can go edit and preferences and find out exactly where it does uh, store them. And you can see it says when importing photos copy them to photos. Um, Let's take a look at a couple of other quick, neat little things. Um, we can export photos. So we can export photos to, I use Picasa, Picasa Web, but there's also Flickr there and a few other, um, few other uh, services. There's CD and also you can send by mail. So um, nice quick little uh, intro to FSpot. There's not much more to it than that. You can do a few more well, there is a lot more to it than that. You can do more effects um, like sepia tone. You can make it look, you know, a little bit more um, brownish. You can rate photos, so you can give them a number of stars. If you see down on the bottom here, every photo, you can comment on photos. Um, if we go back to edit here, there's tags. We can add tags to photos. Um, very easy to, to do that. There's a little histogram at the bottom. It's actually jam-packed full of 
uh, different tools. You can configure a screensaver based on your photos. Um, you can find, uh, find photos by rating, by date, um, by when you were when you imported it. It actually one of the things I find is it, F spots almost uh, a little bit too much of a, uh, of a photo application. It's got a lot of features that make it a little bit intimidating when you first look at it. I know when I imported a few rolls I was scratching my head going, hey where did that other roll go? Um, but if you tag your photos and uh, you you know set ratings on them, uh, set a date range, then you know you'll you won't have much problem. There is uh, rotate left and right, and as if these were not uh, good enough, you can also right click and do a number of uh, number of options, and you can remove them from the catalog. So when you remove them from the catalog, it doesn't remove it from the drive; it just removes it from F Spot's catalog. And you can see here, you can also rate it there, attach tags, remove tags. And one more thing, if you've got another image editor or say web browser, you can also open the photo with those. So if you're finding F-Spot isn't quite enough and you've got GIMP installed, GIMP is another image editor, you can open it with GIMP. And that's about it for uh, this quick video on F-Spot. And I uh, hope you'll join me for another video in the future. Just thought I'd mention this intro and exit music is bought by George Elianus. It's called Hornet. And uh, it is available through Creative Commons license. Thanks and hope, to, uh, hope you'll join me for another Ubuntu video. I'm Charles McComb. I know that's not me in the photo. That's just a Wikimedia, Wikimedia photo. Uh, again, thanks for watching the video.